I want to dedicate this video to all the people who have made America great. From our farmers to our men and women in uniform, I want to say thank you. So, to end this All-American Cream Cheese Fest, we're going to make a blueberry covered strawberry trifle. Woohoo! <laughs> I have three cups of frozen blueberries that I have simmering on the stove on low with a half a cup of sugar so that way they unthaw and melt down and it's going to be our blueberry cover to our strawberry trifle. Then I have two 16 ounce packages of fresh strawberries that I've sliced up very thin and I've covered them with a half a cup of sugar just to get them nice and juicy. We're not going to over sweeten them because they're already nice and sweet. Then I have two pound cakes that I bought from the store. Very convenient when you're throwing a trifle together real quick. Then I have eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese with three quarters of a cup of sugar. We're going to use the blueberry cream cheese this time and mix that with three quarters of a cup of sugar for one of the layers in our trifle. So let's get started. We're going to mix this together with our hand mixer along with a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Time to mix in our eight ounces of blueberry cream cheese. I've uh, set it out of the refrigerator to soften. All right. So we're gonna mix this together with our hand mixer as well. Okay, so now that we have the sugar and the vanilla extract mixed into our cream cheese and our blueberry cream cheese, we are going to add in some of the fruit. So in our Plain cream cheese, we're going to add in just a scoop or two of the strawberries. Not too much of the juice because you don't want the cream cheese to get runny. And we're just going to mix that together. A couple of tablespoons of the blueberry juice, the hot blueberry sugar juice, and mix that in with the blueberry cream cheese. Sink just a little bit. We're getting our pound cake all sliced up. So we're going to place our cubes of pound cake down at the bottom. We're going to make a single layer. Okay, say something. Now we're going to take a scoop of our fresh strawberries that we had mix some sugar with to make them nice and sweet and juicy. I have a slotted spoon so some of the juice drains off. We're going to go ahead and add in some of the strawberry. Drain in a little bit of the juice. Okay. Oops. Our sweetened cream cheese strawberry mixture. We're going to put half of that right down in there. Mush it in the middle and it'll spread to the sides. <laughs> More pound cake. Single layer again. Push it down once you get some pound cake on top of the cream cheese. Alright. There we go. Alright. Now, we're going to repeat the strawberry. I'm draining off some of the sugar juice. So, we're going to use up the rest of the strawberry cream cheese on top. And spread that all around. So, with this part, at the top, we're just going to put the pound cake around the center and create a bowl in the middle. We're going to take our blueberry cream cheese mixture. We're going to put all that right there on top in the center and 
spread it out. Just to peek through a little bit. Now, we're going to take the rest of our pound cake and top it off. Make it look nice and pretty. So we're going to blueberry top our strawberry trifle now with the blueberries that we have simmered down. It's created a lot of juice, so you don't want to put that all on top. So we're just going to spoon some of these awesome juicy blueberries all over the top. And they're nice and warm. To a great American cream cheese. Time to top off our blueberry covered strawberry trifle. Whipped cream heaven on top. The grand finale. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed this all American dessert. Thank you to Equal, thank you to Paula Dean, and thank you to Kraft, Philadelphia cream cheese.